Hayatoys has done something really cool, and that is to get the license for G.I. Joe to create action figures that are just slightly over four inches tall. And the first one we're taking a look at here is Snake Eyes, because he has now become the face of the brand. There is nothing much special, a couple action poses on the back, no file card, no cross sale, no nothing, the logo, the explosion effect, the same one that's on the front, and I have to say that's really cool. I love how they have modernized the old style 80s packaging. I love the new artwork. I, there is nothing about this I don't like. Let's jump in and look at this figure to see if I can find something, but I'm sure hoping I don't because this figure looks fire. Here's Snake Eyes out of the box, and the first thing I'm going to show you is this figure stand base. This is pretty cool. You can see there's a little peg right there. Flip it around, we just knock Snake Eyes over. That's why he needs a figure stand. So we flip this over. You also get a couple of these little eye beams. There's two of them. They hook into the base right there, so you can connect these to other base figure stands from either the Storm Shadow figure or future G.I. Joe figures, or you could actually, from what I understand, connect these to other Haya figures. So I think that's pretty cool. He comes with a fist hand, and he comes with a open sword yielding hand he comes with a gun right there a backpack a sheath and a sword which of course then the sword will fit right in there like that and what's cool is just like classified version you can fit the sheath onto the side of the backpack he also has a couple built-in accessories let's lift him up on his left thigh here there is a dagger that slides out of that sheath and on the right side, there is a gun that comes out of that holster. That's pretty neat. Now, I want to warn you about something because I had to fix my figure here. And that is this holster, at least on mine, was kind of easy. It broke off a little bit, so I had to glue mine back in. Now it's nice and sturdy. Pretty cool. He's got this bandolier that's stretched across his chest. And if you pop off his head, which... I'm not going to do right now, but if you warm it up, you could take this off if you really wanted to. And then, you know what? Actually, you don't need to pop off the head. So right there, you know, I've kind of disproved my own thought right there. You don't have to take his head off. Articulation wise, this figure is pretty articulated and I'm loving this figure. This figure is actually, can I say it, pretty exquisite. This is a pretty awesome figure. So the neck rotates all around. It's on a ball joint, the shoulder or the arm moves all the way around you can lift it up for about that far there is a bicep rotation double pinless on a four inch figure a double pinless elbow right there there is a ball joint on the wrist to so you can pop off the hand and you can see that ball joint right there and then you pop on sometimes these are a little bit difficult but sometimes they're easy you can pop on the other hand just like that there's a torso movement he doesn't go real far forward and he doesn't he goes a little bit further back but still not real far there is a waist rotation if you want him to do the splits because of the added items on his legs he can go up about that far if you want him to sit you can go about like that he does have drop down legs like so just like classified there is a rotation at the thigh there's a double pinless knee and finally there's a rotation there's a pivot and there is a hinge at the ankle if you want him to go back you know dude he's a ninja he can go actually back pretty far and if you want him to go forward yeah the house of vortex right there he can go forward pretty far let's take a look at him next to his classified version one of the things I love the most about these Haya figures is that they are scaled down versions of the classified series figures. Now, they are not quite 118th. I will refer to this figure as a 118th. It's pretty close. It's a little bit taller than four inches. But this is what I've been wanting. And when classified started, I heard a lot of people saying this is what they really wanted. And so I think a lot of people are going to be really happy provided you can actually order this figure from, well, overseas. It's for, uh, in certain territories and certain countries but this is amazing looking this is really good I'm going to use that word amazing he's got all the same details we'll just knock the big guy over um, he's got the same belt the same look the same kneecaps the same harnesses the same head I mean this is a scaled down version and that's what I'm so excited about and I'll say it again smaller versions of the classified figures so let's get this dude out of here 
So I mentioned that this figure is just a little over 4 inches tall, and I will refer to him as about 1 18th. These are two figures released in 2021. This is a re-release style of the modern series. This is a brand new style of figure that they released in late 2021. And you can see how tall Snake Eyes is next to these two guys. For a quick O-ring comparison, here is a recently released O-ring stalker, and Snake Eyes is quite a bit taller than the stalker. And I'll bring in a couple other guys. Here's a Marauders on the right, McFarlane 4 inch on the left, and he's actually, these guys really work together well. Then we have Dime Novel Legends on the left and Boss Fight on the right, and you can tell they're just a tad shorter. I think they're going to work well. And the final two comparisons, we have Fortnite on the right and a Marvel Universe. I think this is the new series, or the new is what the new series is called, Spider-Man on the left. And as you can see, he's quite a bit taller. Here's a quick little O-ring reference just for this guy here. So he kind of fits in there. It's not really a four-inch figure. So now we're going to gear Snake Eyes up. going to put his backpack on... Well, his back, where it's supposed to go. Got the sword already attached right there. We've got this nice, cool figure stand. We'll plop him down there. This guy, this figure is so cool. I really like it. Let's rotate this around. Let's get it on. Seems to be just a little bit tough. But this figure, he's so cool. I really like this figure a lot. This is a G.I. Joe figure I've been waiting for for a long time. I thought Hasbro was going in... Come on, why can't you get his... There we go. I thought Hasbro was going in the correct direction when they introduced this figure right here, this type style. It was a lot more like the Fortnite style of figures, and so I thought this was pretty cool. We'll set him off to the back. But now that High has had its stuff out, oh my goodness, I have a new favorite. And truthfully, I think this is the G.I. Joe figure that a lot of people have been wanting. I think this is the one that most of the collectors, this, this is the new standard, I would say. Is this better than classified? You know, it's, it's real close to being better than classified simply because this is a 1-18th-ish scale, and that's what G.I. Joe has been since 1982. This is what a lot of people wanted, a smaller figure, not the 6-inch figures. I mean, there's a group out there who want the 6-inch figures, but a lot of people wanted the small figures. I'm one of them. I enjoy classified, but I'm one of them who really likes these small figures, so apparently he's not standing very well on this figure stand. I got his foot in there, but... Uh, yeah, you could display a whole lot more of these 4-inch guys than you can the classified, and they take up height-wise less space. I think these are really cool. I recommend them. I highly recommend them if you can get your hands on these things. You're going to have to go to a website that deals with um, overseas action figures. And I honestly don't know at this point where you'd get them. A lot of websites show sold out. There is a Cobra Commander and a Beachhead up for pre-order. I believe the Storm Shadow figure is also sold out. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy this video just as much. I'll see you in the next one.